Hello, my name is Catalina Trejo, and my chosen artist for our Art 42 class midterm is Francisco de Goya, who is a Spanish artist. Francisco Jose de Goya y Lucientes were born on March 30th of the year 1746 towards the north of Spain in a village named Fuente Todos. De Goya moved various times. He died on April 16th, 1828 at the age of 82 in Bordeaux, France. Interesting facts. An interesting fact about the Spanish artist is that he was rejected from art school. After he gained success, he was finally accepted. He was a deaf painter after a horrible accident. De Goya's inspiration was Francisco Bayou, who later became his brother-in-law. This inspiration led him to become a painter and a printmaker. The mediums he would use for his famous paintings were drawings and engravings. He made romanticism and rococo art. The particular painting that I chose was 3rd of May, 1808. It is one of Goya's great modern paintings made in 1814. This painting is located in a museum in Madrid. The colors are dark and the form and textures of the open man represents the picture and gives out meaning. The mediums used by Goya are oils on canvas. Romanticism is the painting's style and its genre is history painting. De Goya added so much texture, blood, and form to the body to truly speak out in this painting. He had a similar previous painting that influenced this image. Events in Madrid's forces against the French led to the creation of this artwork. The purpose of this artwork was to commemorate Spanish resistance to Napoleon's armies during the Peninsular War. In one of the surrendering hands, he sends out a message that identifies the martyrs as the attackers during this ambush. He also sends a message that those of higher power have been useless and have not accomplished anything for their people. Another message is that no human sacrifice will lead to salvation. This artwork has been completely successful and it is known as one of the greatest modern artworks. In it, he tells a story and depicts a violent event where murdered people are defenseless and unarmed. The same open hand is in his previous painting which continues telling a tragic story in this painting. Throughout this video, I used some of Goya's art pieces like Jose Costa y Bonel's called Pepito, The Second of May, 1808, Saturn Devouring His Son, and Out Hunting for Teeth. These are some of the artworks that I'm going to give some information on in the next slides. The 2nd of May, 1808 depicts one of the Spanish people's rebellious nights during war. It talks about the same war as the 3rd of May, 1808 painting and the colors are very similar. It seems like these horrible events benefited Goya's art. Jose Costa called Pepito artwork alludes to the Spanish War of Independence. The jacket that the boy is wearing is an imitation to the uniforms of soldiers in war. The boy also has a Napoleonic fashion haircut which allows it to represent the war times. The Saturn devouring his son piece depicts a Greek myth of a man who ate his son due to his fear of being overthrown by him. This piece also uses rich and dark colors like previous artworks that I have mentioned. This shows the interest of Goya in horrific and dark themes. This artwork is number 12 from Goya series of 80 in the Caprichos. In this image, he sends a message to believers of superstition and witchcraft that there is not much to believe in. This picture shows a woman getting her magical teeth from a dead man. How magical can that be? These are all of the sources that help me gather and gain information about my chosen artist, Francisco José de Goya y Lucientes.